Um, they really love the good sound of brass, especially lower brass, uh, like blasting it out nice in some of those parts. So, yeah, that's, that's the story. Um, it has a bit of a Renaissance kind of a feel, so they call it Renaissance Row. It's also um, a little bit of a round.
A little bit about this piece before I begin. Um, this is a brand new piece um, in a collection that was um, completed just last year. It's called Lift Solos for Horn by Black Composers. Um, and the project was put together uh, by a horn player in Washington, D.C. who teaches at the Duke Ellington School. Um, so it's a collection of, of original um, solo pieces for horn and piano, um, all brand new pieces, which is wonderful. Um, so the piece that I'm playing is called The First Solo Flight by David Eastman. Um, I hope you'll like it. I love it. It's very cinematic. It sounds kind of movie, like the movies. Um, and I just think it's a great piece. <laughs> so um, this is Monty and I will get this whole rhythm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Once in my life, I don't feel like talking, so we're just going to play.
semester of theory and Whitman is doing a great job of, of everything he does. Um, the freshmen love him because he gives them homework and then they're kind of different. But they're usually loving and that's really great. Uh, we really love having you as a great friend and it's an opportunity to have a great piece. Okay, so as you can see, I'm sitting down behind the snare drum, which might seem a bit unusual because we typically, I think, associate these with three places, outside drumline stuff, drum set, or in an orchestra. So this is a really short etude, um, and what I like about it is it kind of combines all of those elements into its own special little style of drumming. So hope you enjoy. It's really not bad for Canadians, really not. <laughs> uh, so next we will have our new, this year, instructor of trumpet, which is Sean Mitchell. Uh, he has stepped in to help us this year. I actually lost our trumpet teacher at which school started, and we called him, and he came right in and he's done a great job. So we really appreciate him playing tonight, all the teaching games and sports this year. This is Mr. Sean Mitchell, he will tell you about this.
So next two pieces, our final two pieces, are a good example of contrast. We'll have this to the bass piece, which is going to be jazz. Um, and we'll have the pen, and then we'll have the crazy piece. Um, this to the bass, we already said, is our research librarian, is also a composer with two degrees in composition. This is one of his compositions that he has written. I'm also excited to include one of our students on this one, Quantez Robinson. Can we bring it, can we bring it right here? Just, oh, you've got a little bit, yeah, right here. <coughs> Just so that he's in the video, too. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, but we got one Tez who's going to play the uh, drums here. We're very excited. <coughs> is going to just kind of keep a beat, but he's going to start improvising too as he plays along um, with it. Um, Dr. Sexton, though, has to stick with the, the part because otherwise it will get lost uh, into completely free jazz, which this is not. So, uh, but he's keeping the, the, the main uh, anchor of our piece.
So another new faculty member that we're so excited to have and just love to death is Dr. Scott Sexton, who is our, yeah. He's our director of choral ensembles and professor of music education. Um, he's going to play a duet with this monkey in our intro. We are going to play a piano duet called CF Theme and Variations. I know, I know you've all been high to so you know what CS stands for, but I'm not going to tell you just yet, but let's just say it's a well-known tune, if you will. Um, the composer juxtaposes this tune with one of Franz Liszt's Hungarian rhapsodies. So here is CS Theme and Variations.
as many of you know, in November of last year, we lost Ms. Sue Ophi. Um, she was the Vice President for Communications and, and really a great lifter up of people. I think she and I geeked out about music a lot, and so I ended up spending a lot of time with her. Um, she also had been here a really long time, so she knew a lot about the music program. And so when I first became chair and knew absolutely nothing, I spent a lot of time asking her questions, but she was so helpful to me. And, and whenever I needed, like, encouragement or something like that day, I would just go to see her and just geek out about music, and, and she's just a great uplifter. So when I found out that she had died in November, I, I started trying to think of, of a way for the music program to do some kind of tribute to her. And I thought about the band, but I thought, you know, the band directors were new. They didn't really know her very well, so I didn't want it to go to the band. I thought about the choir, and I kind of thought the same thing with Scott, because he was new, and he'd had some contact with her, but not as much as we had. So I really wanted it to be like a personal thing with me and Lauren as we had known her the best of the music faculty. So I wanted to play this hymn arrangement in remembrance of her. And I will need my music. This is Meditations on the Old Southern Hymn, Wondrous Love.
One more piece. And um, this one's pretty bonkers. And when I've done it before, everyone's either really loved it or really hated it. And either one is fine. Just listen to it, see what you think. Actually, as soon as we had hired Mr. Mooney last year, um, and I heard him play, I wanted to do this piece with him. And last year I chickened out because I didn't get enough practice. So this year I made myself, I'm gonna do it. This piece is called Rebellion. It's a chamber piece for trombone, piano, and percussion. All of our parts are pretty nuts, but they all fit together in the end. And I hope that you enjoy it. I did want to say, since this is our last piece, I want to thank you all for coming out to listen to us. Uh, you've been a great audience. We really appreciate it. <coughs> President West and Dr. Lee and Dr. Sowers, we appreciate your support so much. Um, I always appreciate my music people that scream and embarrass me. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd like to also thank Miss Monkey. As I get my plunger, I want to point out to President <coughs> West and anyone else that is worried, I did check with multiple people and everybody said it's fine to put a chain in the piano. So when we put the chain in the piano, don't freak out.
Thank you all for coming. Yeah. And if all the musicians, if all the musicians could each take one piece of percussion for a minute. Yeah. <laughs>